Now I'm going to talk about what I think is the most underestimated computer in the Mac um, computer lineup, and that is the Mac Mini. If people ask me what I would choose as a home entertainment computer, I will always answer a Mac Mini is the best option for this. It might be a little bit pricier than what you can get in the market, but um, the computer is uh, really good for uh, um, working in your living room and uh, it looks very nice and it is very portable. The starting uh, option for the Mac Mini is around $600 if you include the taxes, but I think you get a very good product for your money. As you can see, when you buy um, the Mac Mini, all you get is uh, the computer itself. So uh, it looks like this. Um, as from 2011, I think they started coming out uh, coming out without a CD drive. I have two computers. Um, the other one is right over there. Uh, I used uh, I used one for each of my TVs. So the other one is uh, from 2010, which you can see already it's uh, already running for six years, and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. It's a great option to have as an entertainment computer, and um, I will uh, talk a little bit of uh, the features that you get. Nowadays you can get a Roku player and um, uh, all sorts of other devices and I'm not very familiar with them. And uh, the one I am familiar with is the Apple TV. And um, even though I also like the Apple TV, I think uh, what you get, the Apple TV nowadays costs around uh, $300. And um, I think that for $300 more, what you get with a full computer connected to your uh, TV um, is a lot better than just having a device which, with a limited interface, um, which only it's only good uh, for watching a movie or a show or um, listening to music. If that's all that you're after, then probably an Apple TV will do it, a Google Chromecast will do it as well, but uh, if not, I really recommend you go with um, the Mac Mini computer. What you get is, uh, for, with the computer, are uh, four USB ports, um, one HDMI port, and uh, also you get uh, an SD card slot. You get uh, a wired um, network uh, connector for RJ45 for Ethernet. You get as well two uh, Thunderbolt uh, Lightning uh, ports. Now, what you have to get additionally is a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth uh, a keyboard. The ones I use is uh, the Magic Keyboard from, um, from uh, Apple and the magic mouse these are not uh, the latest versions of them but uh, they work very well and uh, this is uh, the setup that i have at home and uh, the way it works is you can just connect uh, your hdmi cable to uh, your tv as you can see that's a 39 inch tv co connected to my uh, mac mini and it's a very nice uh, configuration i really like it uh, to me, it beats any uh, monitor out there, and uh, well, with your TV, you have uh, two or three uh, different HDMI inputs, so you can use still your other inputs for whatever you want. If you want to connect your DVD player and everything, um, it, you have the flexibility to have your uh, computer uh, right there uh, connected to your TV. Um, I I know that I can be in the couch. Um, controlling my computer with my uh, remote uh, uh, keyboard and uh, mouse. Now, that's one of the computers that I have. And as my main uh, entertaining center, I have um, a 65-inch TV connected to another Mac Mini, which is uh, really good. I'm going to show a little bit later how I have it interfaced with my uh, uh, music collection which is what I think also it's a great uh, match to have an Apple uh, Mac Mini with your TV because if you have your um, sound system connected to your computer and to a TV you have right there your uh, playlist um, to interact with 
and um, you have it uh, delivering sound through your uh, sound system so it's the best setup that I can think of as a home entertainment system um, if you uh, are a fan of iTunes and uh, listening to the music in your computer believe it or not your laptop is not your um, only option nowadays to uh, uh, have as a computer while you travel if you're gonna be in a hotel room I think um, it's far more convenient to uh, have a full computer working for you. With the HDMI port um, and uh, the very compact size of the uh, Mac Mini, I think it's a very good option for traveling as well. You just have to carry um, an HDMI cable and what I call your traveling kit, which uh, comprises, I have mine here, so all you need is uh, a little kind of uh, um, traveling uh, mouse uh, here this one is uh, a Bluetooth enabled mouse so you can carry that and I have my portable keyboard which uh, there are different out there uh, but this is a uh, this is from Brookstone I like it a lot it's foldable it's a uh, Bluetooth as well and uh, this is all you need like if it, as you can see all you need is uh, your mouse your traveling mouse your traveling keyboard and that goes with your Mac mini and uh, you can have that configuration uh, for traveling and you go to the hotel or whatever it is that you're staying connect your um, HDMI cable to uh, a TV and you have your computer with you so uh, sometimes it's a lot better to have a full computer and not just a laptop and nowadays you're traveling with a full desktop in your backpack and uh, it's not it's neither heavy or um, also a bad option to do I really like uh, this uh, as an option for uh, when you travel and you know that you're gonna be at a hotel okay so we took a look at uh, your uh, main basic uh, basic options that you need to have uh, configured uh, to work with your computer which is uh, to have a physical keyboard and a mouse but um, that is not uh, always necessary especially if you have your computer set up as an entertainment um, center in your uh, living room or somewhere at your house um, there are several apps right now out there that uh, you can install on your smartphone that's why I always said uh, that I like sticking to an Apple environment because I know that uh, I can get an app on my iPhone to uh, work with my Mac mini computer on um, on my TV so um, I'm gonna talk about the app that I use uh, to uh, as a keyboard and a mouse for my computers when um, so that I don't have to uh, use a physical keyboard and mouse every time and I'm not limited by space because uh, well as you know if you have a keyboard and a mouse you will have a you will, you will need a flat surface uh, so it would be very inconvenient to be in your living room sitting in your couch sitting on your couch and then uh, having to have a table all the time to uh, lay your keyboard and your mouse so for that I would like to use my phone and um, the way I do it is um, I have uh, this app here it's uh, called uh, a mobile mouse um, this is a pro version so that uh, it allows you to do all the capabilities of the uh, app um, I think uh, it's very worthwhile. It costs like uh, five or uh, uh, ten, between five and ten dollars. It's been a long time since I purchased this app, but it's very good. Um, right here, if you have more than one computer in your house, uh, you set them up here, and then you can choose uh, which computer you want to uh, uh, connect to, and that's how you switch over uh, between computers. So right now I'm um, I'm just gonna choose the one in my living room here. That's my computer, and this is uh, my mouse, my uh, phone, and then uh, here you use uh, your whole the surface of uh, your phone as your uh, mouse cursor, cursor. You can see there on the screen how uh, I'm. Uh, using my mouse uh, my phone as my mouse you can choose whatever you want here you have your launch pad for all your different apps so you can interact very easily through uh, 
your computer uh, with your computer using your phone. When you uh, the new version of uh, this mobile mo mobile mouse uh, app, if you are listening to music through iTunes, it uh, displays uh, the cover of uh, the, the the song that you are currently playing. So that's why it's always showing here. The app also has uh, a widget, which uh, you go here to uh, your phone, to your notification center, and here. Uh, I have it somewhere around here. So here, mobile mouse remote. Here you have a, also a little uh, widget uh, device so that you can control whatever it is that you are using at that time, which right now it was music. So you, you have an interface there to control uh, your uh, music through uh, your uh, mobile mouse remote widget. Uh, it's very convenient as well, I like it. And also, like uh, if you need a keyboard, then you just shake your shake your iPhone, and then the keyboard appears. And here you have uh, all the different uh, choices for a keyboard that you uh, need. You have uh, uh, letters, you have uh, functions, you have uh, numbers, um, and you have additional uh, uh, features. You can launch apps directly from. Um, your uh, mouse app. This is why it's good to uh, purchase the full version of the uh, uh, little app because I think the one that um, is not the pro version uh, doesn't allow you to do all these things. It's uh, very basic so that's why I recommend to get uh, the uh, um, paid version. So if you don't need your keyword anymore then uh, you just hide it so in order for your uh, mobile mouse app to work, it it um, it's made of uh, two parts. One is a little app that you download um, on your phone, and you'll need a counterpart that you need to install in your computer, which is uh, uh, we call it uh, the server is on your uh, computer, and your client is uh, your app in your phone. So uh, the way it works with that is uh, here in your computer. When you go to uh, the mobile mouse uh, website uh, or the app store and you download it, it will uh, right here install a little server version of the program. So that's what you see when you uh, open your app here and go to the settings and uh, you see uh, how many computers you have connected to your Wi-Fi then um, that's how um, your phone sees uh, your computer. The computer has to have uh, that little uh, server version running so that you can look it up uh, on your Wi-Fi and then you can start uh, using it as your mouse with uh, that computer.